Has this ever happened to you? It's late at night. You're on your fifth central line and you decide to do a subclavian approach and you pass the wire. Everything seems to be going okay. You get your line in and shoot that x-ray and then you see that central line going straight up into the brain. It's happened to me more than a few times. And so today's crit tips is a trick that might just help you with that complication. Now, if you've ever had this complication where the guide wire goes from the subclavian up to the IJ, you know, you know how frustrating this can be. Now, there was a time where I thought we'd never see this complication again because we were using ultrasound for the IJs and there were so few subclavians being done because of the safety issue with pneumothoraces and all that stuff. But there's lots of literature that shows us that we should be placing subclavian lines under ultrasound guidance. So we are still placing lines in the subclavian vein, which means this complication can still happen to you. So how you ask, can you prevent this procedure from happening? Let me show you how. What you're gonna do is once you introduce your needle and get your flash of blood from your subclavian vein and you start passing your wire here, you're gonna take your other hand and you're gonna bring it over and gently occlude the ipsilateral internal jugular vein. And what you're hoping that this is gonna do is just close that lumen just enough so rather than that wire going up to the head, it's actually going to turn down and go towards the mediastinum, which is what you want. You have to be very careful here. This is not a dense compression here where you're occluding the carotid artery because you'd like for your patient not to stroke out while you're doing a central line, but it's just gentle pressure. This technique is called the ambash maneuver in case you're interested, and I'll have a link for some information below. And it typically works pretty well, whether or not it's because I'm lucky or I've been doing this procedure as I'm putting my wire in. I haven't had one of those central line wires going straight up to the head since I've used it. It's a relatively simple technique, no real complications, but again, you have to be careful that you're not occluding the carotid artery as you're doing a your pressure. Just a light pressure as you're passing the wire, and then once that wire goes down, you can take pressure off. I'll even take the ultrasound and take a look just to make sure I'm not going up the neck as I'm passing my wire because the last thing I wanna do is get unprepped finish the procedure, and find out on x-ray that the catheter took a turn north. I hope you're doing more subclavians under ultrasound guidance. It's a much better line, and maybe we'll do another video on the benefits of subclavian versus internal jugular. If you like this video, and I hope that you did, go ahead and click that like button. Show us some love. And if you really, 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 really liked it, and you wanna see more of it, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you never ever miss a video from us again. Thank you for watching. I mean it. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next Critics.